Hi! In this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct test transactions on a Paygate system. I will be using the WooCommerce system for these tests. Let's get started. Now, the first thing to know about testing, for example, on the WooCommerce backend, is that you need to set the testing mode to be true in the plugin settings or else testing won't work. To do that, you need to go to WooCommerce, Settings, and then to Payments, and select the Paygate via PayWeb3 setting. If you're on a different backend, such as Shopify or a different e-commerce system, not to worry. All you'll need to do is go to the Payment Settings for the e-commerce system, and then select the PayWeb settings. Now, in this document, it says, for testing, please use the following credentials. The Paygate ID, you copy and replace it here. Encryption key, secret, secret, that is fine and make sure test mode is enabled, then click save. As long as test mode is enabled, then when you try to make test transactions, a pop-up will show to let you know you're still in test mode, as you will see shortly. First step in any test is to add products to your cart. Once you get to the cart, you'll proceed to the checkout page. A good rule of thumb is to add test in every field so that anyone looking at the system will understand it was a test transaction. Once ready, click proceed to Paygate. When you're doing testing, it'll show this pop-up. Now Paygate do provide a list of card numbers that are registered on the system as test numbers. A PDF document with these test numbers for your relevant e-commerce platform can be found on the Paygate website. When testing, you can test Visa, MasterCard, American Express on some systems, and M-Pesa. But generally, Visa and MasterCard are the two main ones accepted. So let's have a look at what happens. Let's put in a sample name and a card number. You'll notice if we paste in the card number, it automatically picks up that it is Visa. If we do MasterCard, same thing. American Express, same thing. Let's have a look at what will happen with a Visa transaction. When testing cards, make sure the expiry date is past the today's date. The CVV digits can be anything and you can leave the budget period on zero. As you see, because it's a test card, all of the ticks. Again, just reminding you, it is a test page. Just click submit and the order is complete. Let's have a look on the back end to see if the order is there. As you can see, there was an order placed a few minutes ago. This is the one that's just been placed. It's marked as processing. But what happens if you want to test a card with insufficient funds? What will be the outcome then? Well, let's give it a try. Let's use the MasterCard this time. As you can see, all of the ticks are approved. And then you say submit. And when it brings it back, it says the order was canceled. So let's have a look. As you can see, it says order canceled. So to view the reason for the cancellation, you can log into the DPO Paygate Merchant Access Portal and view the exact reasons. And the reasons will be insufficient funds. So let's try a decline transaction. Let's use Visa. Now it also says the order was cancelled. Let's have a look at the back end. And you can see the latest order also marked as cancelled. However, there is also a way for orders to be marked as failed. And that is for the customer to click back on the payment information page. And if we refresh this page, the order gets marked as failed. But the order status won't stay failed because it will be changed to cancelled after a minute. The only way an order status will stay as failed is if it's manually set to failed after the fact. Now, as you can see on the right hand side, it shows all of the card numbers for if you want to test approved transactions, for insufficient fund transactions, for declined transactions. Invalid card number can be any card number. If it's invalid, it'll show up as invalid. 
And that's all there is to testing transactions using the card number supplied by Paygit. Thank you and good luck.